What is up YouTube? Lunar here and today I'm bringing you a, a um, simple tutorial on an easy way to select color in your uh, art documents or art files. So let's get started. So I have these two uh, little setups right here. Um, it's like a square pattern, multiple colors, and a image trace of a photo I took and there's the original photo of a really cool Volkswagen that was downtown where I live. Uh, and let's say that for these squares right here you want to make all the squares the same color um, well it's grouped so you know you could do the steps of ungrouping it and then selecting each individual square or maybe you want to select all of them actually that'd be pretty easy so let's say you want to turn it into two colors make it harder um, let's say you want to make them all red and you want to make them all blue the uh, the bright blue so let me show you how to do that if you select, so you don't want navy, so I'm going to lock the Volkswagen so it doesn't uh, get messed up. But So I'm going to select the navy, and what you want to do is you want to go to select, same, and you want to go to fill in stroke. Although since there's no stroke, you could also go fill color, and you could probably also go appearance. Um, so I'm going to do fill in stroke, and you'll see what it does is it automatically selects everything in the art document, the illustrator file, that is navy. So I said that I want to change all the navy to red, so there we go. And now I need to change all of the lime to the baby blue. And so I'll do the same thing. And you know, of course, it may be just as fast if you just um, you know shift click all of them, but this is a simple example. So I'll select one of the lime squares, I'll do select, I'll do same, and then I'll do fill color this time, and let's see what happens. So it selects all of the colors, or all of the squares with the same fill color. And so now I will change this to baby blue. Okay, so that's a, that's an easy example. Uh, let's move to something more complicated. <laughs> okay, you may not be able to tell, but this is a an image a 16 color image trace of this Volkswagen picture right here. Um, so let's say you need to get into this photo and you need to work with some of the colors and you need to get rid of some colors and maybe add some colors. Well, it would be a nightmare if you had to individually find all of the colors in this um, thing because you know I selected it looks really crazy it's all still grouped together so you'll need your direct select obviously um, so let's just say that you want to select all of this lighter orange color so I've selected one of it and what you want to do is the same thing select same and then let's do fill and stroke this time so as you can see it's selected everything in the picture and actually the artboard but I don't have anything in the squares that's that color that is the same color so now you can change the color of this stuff uh, let's just say you want to make it white and so there you go it's changed all that orange to white uh, let's try a different color um, let's pick let's pick some random color way back here and so you see it selected some gray color and you have no idea like what else is in here so but you can do select, you can do same, and you can do fill and stroke. And as you can see, it's automatically selected everything that is that same gray. And so now let's change it all to black. And now it is all black. So that's pretty cool. Let's try it one more time, and uh, we'll call it quits. Let's select this lighter gray, or th let's select this gray right here. Uh, let's select this gray right here. And we'll, there it goes. Okay. I'll do select, I'll do same, and I'll do, let's do fill color because there shouldn't be any strokes in this. And as you can see, it has selected everything that is that light gray. And let's make it a gradient. You can't even really tell, but yeah. So that is how I like to select uh, different colors in um, art projects a lot of the time versus, you know, like zooming in and finding each individual color. So hopefully this simple quick tutorial help you, helps you guys out. And if you have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And I will see you guys next week.